in the bus now, going to the starting point for the track. Check this road, oh. Oh. Cannot go in, there's too much, too much dust. Basically, I'm on this bus for two hours. It's a little bit of a noise with the music and everything. Off to the starting point for this four-day track. So let's go. Hey guys, we made it to Nayapol. Great. The road was pretty good. I think it's more like the road uh, from the place where we're going back. It's more like uh, crazy. But yeah, that we'll, we'll see that in a couple of days. But yeah, this is Nayapol. Small little... I cannot even call it a town. There's just a couple of houses. As you see on the hill. And uh, it's a little walk over there. I have to watch out where I'm walking because this is already like crazy off-road path <laughs> but we have to walk a little bit like there and there's the starting point where we have to show the permit so let's go there first but check this out this nice little bridge already i think the views is gonna be like insane from the track we're gonna see the high 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 himalaya mountains and hopefully the weather is clear but this is already pretty nice Okay, so I found the check post, the starting post of the track. Check it out here. Oh, I think this is it. They will check the permit. Namaste. Hello. How are you? Very nice. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's a GoPro, yeah. Why is it written back and it gives me gift? Sorry? We agree. <laughs> How much do you want to pay? No gift. A oh, gift? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would like that as well. <laughs> okay, Daniba, thank you. Which is this way? Where do you go? ABC or? Pune. Yeah. Okay, this way. Okay, thank you. Nice See you in a couple of days. Or maybe not. Probably not, because we're not going from this side back. Hello, namaste. Hello. Ah. Here it is. Gopani. Oh, we're almost falling already. The first step for the track, and I'm falling. Okay, let's see, check it, guys. This is pretty interesting. Maybe we need a knife. Maybe it's handy to take the Gurkhi knife to fight some wild bears in the Himalayas here or we just run anyways let's start the track it's officially started now namaste okay guys so a little update or a little information about the track it's gonna take approximately the four days it's 40 kilometers so we're gonna try to walk 10 kilometers a day uh, Boon Hill is pretty easy at least, at least that's what everybody's saying and a uh, really, really good track for a beginner I've never done the track before so I thought this is ideal for me perfect and uh, they say also like you have a lot of villages along the way a lot of signs I also downloaded a uh, app called uh, Kamut and there you can download the offline map with your route so it's uh, so I don't hope to lose the uh, to lose the way on here. Wait, I have to check out the steps here. Hello. Oh. So today we're just gonna walk 10 kilometers, around 10 kilometers, and uh, find a place to sleep over there. So I heard. I think the first day is a lot of these steps, all steps up, up, up. And at one point we're gonna go down for a bit, but let's see, let's start this amazing adventure. Let's go to Poon Hill. Oh, 
hopefully I can film everything because there's not a lot of any, uh, electricity and all that stuff it's a little bit of a surprise what we're gonna find but I got three batteries I got a power bank so it should be good but I cannot film the whole track obviously it would be a little bit boring as well so hopefully we find a lot of interesting people and interesting stuff along the way that I can film the, these steps are already pretty interesting <laughs> Oh, here, there's a goat. Namaste, hello. Poon Hill, this side? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, we are out of the village now. Into the Himalayas. Okay, we have left the road. Thanks to the Kamut app. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I would have just walked like straight. But now, as you can see, uh, this is the sideway we have to take. And you have a, oh, uh, this is for the cars. You see, you can walk through the water. And this is for the, for the, for the trekkers, for the real people, the trekkers. The first bridge. I think we have to start small. But uh, I've seen pictures of huge bridges. Uh, this is pretty cool. Oh. I hope we will find these bridges of like 100 meters or, or, or even longer, I don't know. They look really scary, but uh, yeah, they also look very interesting to cross. Check it out guys, how nice. This water, streams everywhere. I think during this, the winter months, this is a crazy, crazy river going through. Ah, this is nice and peaceful. No cars. There were a lot of cars and motorbikes over there. Probably cheaters who's going to Poon Hill or somewhere else. Or I think the cars that go to Gandruk. Because we're going back, I believe, through Gandruk. And there we can take a bus or a taxi and uh, go back to Pokhara. If we make it. Hey guys, a little update. We're now about almost like an hour on the way and we walked a little bit more than three and a half kilometers already. Mostly uphill. So it's going pretty well actually. Maybe I was born for trekking, I don't know. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the exact amount we need to walk is 9.6 kilometers. So we're almost halfway, almost halfway. Now we have to go a little bit down into this valley check it out how beautiful this is already the high mountains it's pretty warm so I already changed my clothes and uh, yeah let's continue what are they doing here building a new road Building a new road. Then then side. That side. Oh, I have to go that side. Shortcut. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but this is the new road. Yeah. Oh wow. Must be pretty tough to build a road here. I think I've seen it before. They just lay down all the stones. Yeah, very, very. Yeah, very, very. <laughs> they lay down all the stones like these on the road, and then they put the tarmac over it huh? or the concrete they put the concrete over the stones D this gun? yeah that's how they do it basically i saw it before yeah. but this is the shortcut oh yeah i see it there yeah. wow amazing are you doing the trek poon hill uh, tomorrow tomorrow you go yeah. okay okay nice so, maybe so, i see you later then yeah okay good luck bye 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 Hello. Okay guys, we made it to a little town now. After about six kilometers, maybe a little bit more. Check how lovely this is. Hello, namaste. namaste is this your lodge? Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. You're trekking or you live here? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I'm just passing by. But is this your place? It's very nice. It's a lodge? Yes. Lodge and restaurant. 
yeah eating yeah very cool very nice very good very nice wi-fi everything what is the name annapurna guest house ah yeah nice okay danibat thank you so you see you have everywhere nice little restaurants here as well so bye bye but i don't want to stop now i think i'm on a good streak now so we're just gonna continue a little bit and then i also have food with me so i was planning to eat that as some kind of lunch and then when we're at the place ulari uliri I, I, i cannot remember the name then oh i thought he was i thought he was calling me then we're gonna eat at the place and rest and uh sleep there if we can find a place but uh, yeah this is pretty cool these nice little villages on the on the way it's not really busy as you can see it's not many people okay. namaste hotel peaceful namaste Okay, we can see here Uleri, two hours walk. Let's see what time it is. It's Uleri, two hours walk? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Let's see. It is hot. is here so it's like I see it's not that far oh it's now we're now on 7.8 so it's basically like two kilometers a little bit more so let's see you probably have to go all the way up let's see it's now 12:30, so we should be there at 2 30 let's see if we can make that Thank you. Is this your guest house? Yes. Oh, it's nice. It's nice, no but I, I have to I have to continue. No lunch? No lunch. No, no, no. I already had some lunch. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of guest houses on the way. And everybody's asking like if I want to eat or stay over. But we have to continue now. We have to continue walking. Maybe we're going too quick. But to be honest, the, the, the sooner we are in Uleri, uh, the longer we can kind of rest and just relax a little bit and just enjoy the nature and the mountains over here. Whoa! The bridges are getting longer. Hopefully we get the long one, but I'm... Hopefully, hopefully, but I'm not sure. Oh wow, I think even cows cows or other animals cross this bridge and poo on it wow check it out guys beautiful insane and another village okay guys I made a little stop because I was walking these stairs already for like uh, 15 to 30 minutes so it's very tiring so I thought I would take some something to eat and show you what I brought on this amazing journey, this trekking journey into the wild Himalayas. Okay, so this is what I have, a long pants. This is a down coat, a jacket, some slippers. I don't want to take everything out to be honest. A hat, some thermo shirt and a pants, three pairs of socks, charger for the phone a couple of t-shirts a hat if it's getting uh, cold so far it's pretty warm what's this some chargers i got two uh ponchos i don't know why but i thought two better safe than sorry got some toilet paper always good and some snacks oreos and some like salty salty biscuits bottle of water I have two bottles with me I'm not sure if these are I think officially these are like illegal to, to bring here 
because they're afraid that people just throw them everywhere like we saw before everywhere but uh, I won't do that so I have an empty one now and I will get the full one out okay yeah that's about it here let's put this back oh wait I got I got something to eat just before I enter the, the track some boiled eggs I think I'm gonna eat those now put this back and then I also got what else do I have I got some stuff here oh yeah passport of course a map money I got the taps the aqua taps water purification tablet so we're gonna try this one later to see if we can really drink this water from the from the well and here I got some Dextro energy from the from the Netherlands fast direct multivitamin that's good that's basically it yeah not that much and yeah food and everything you can get from the guest house as you can see oh yeah and I got here I also got a towel and a sweater so oh, I think this should be enough towel is a little bit like drying because I used it this morning in uh, in, in the hotel so I'll put that here for now so yeah so far so good I'm gonna eat uh, I'm gonna eat the eggs now as a little lunch I had a huge breakfast like really really a lot so I'm not really hungry but I think the eggs will get us to Uleri 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 I think it's Uleri yeah. don't forget it so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna hike up because I think it's gonna be much more steps until we can finish the day off okay guys <clears throat> oh little update from the road so the last one and a half hour or for my feeling the last five hours no one and a half hour it's only this it's only the stairs I'm totally exhausted I think we're almost uh, at our destination but this is just crazy it's only steps only up 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 so yeah it's pretty cool but it's very tiring like this but uh, I think it's more like uh, 30 minutes still and then we are in Uleri I think it's up here let's find out Oh, I guess we found something. I found a sign here. Way to Uleri. Five minutes. Yes. Yes, that's very good. That is very, very good. Let me see this way. Wow. I'm curious about this place because it's probably like where most people stop and rest after the first day. And then continue uh, the next morning really early today because I left the hostel pretty early but we had to take the bus it took like also like two hours something like that so we left at like 10 like 10 we started the the, the track but tomorrow we're gonna start earlier I think I will try to do between seven and eight something like that and then we go up to uh, close to Poon Hill and then spend the night there but first the last five minutes to this lovely little place up here <laughs> Namaste hello is this Uleri? Yes, Uleri. nice okay ah this is it yeah it's a small little town no small little town <laughs> How many people do live here? You know? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It looks, it looks like a small little town. Let's have a look. Actually, from the point where the sign says two hours, we made it in two hours. Even though I made a little stop of like 15 to 20 minutes, it's now two hours later. So I think for the first day, we did pretty well maybe I don't know we'll find out tomorrow 
maybe a little bit too fast, but yeah, we find out tomorrow how the legs feel. We want to take a good rest, find a place to stay somewhere here. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Yeah? Okay. okay. I'm gonna check here for a bit. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh. What's the name? Oh, Prastuti Guest House. Nice. Oh. Let's check out this place. Looks really nice. <laughs> Bedroom, second floor. Ah, okay. Ooh, what is your name? Me. Eh? Sapuna. 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 Sapuna, okay. Yeah. This is the room? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I will take it. Good. Yeah, I will take it. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Is it the bathroom? Yeah. Can I see? Is there warm water? Hot water. Hot water, yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. This looks amazing, yeah. I will take the room, yeah? Okay, thank you so much, Danny Bad. I will come later to eat. Eat? Yeah, later. Now or later? Later, I will come down, yeah? Oh, I'm sweating, yeah, I'm sweating a bit from the from the I was walking all day. You have a towel? <laughs> towel, yeah, yeah, I have a towel, yeah. Thank you, thank you. See you later, bye bye. Okay guys. Yeah, these guest houses. I don't I haven't checked any other ones. But check it out. The room. The mattress is a little bit. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. The mattress is a little bit hard, but it's pretty okay. Oh, Ah, you have a you have a towel. That is amazing. That's so good. Oh. Thank you so much, Danny yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But they have a nice. They have nice, like duvets, with a pillow, and a bed. You see, they made it from, from wood. I already saw it online. I think most places have these kind of rooms are all the same. Oh, I think I'm gonna rest for a little bit. This feels good actually, this bed. Oh, and outside they have, here they have a, they have a restaurant dining hall. The even I see there, they have a washing machine. And there's an amazing view, obviously. We all go down there, but uh, I'm gonna go down later to have something to eat. Basically this room is for free. As long as you eat the food from the restaurant and uh, obviously the prices are a little bit more than if you go to Kathmandu or you know any other place because it's not easy to get some food or uh, supplies up here you know you have to do it with the horses or some other animals so yeah it's a little bit more expensive so I think for like uh, a chow mein or for uh yeah for chow mein you pay like 150 150 rupees and here it's maybe like 600 uh like that so but it's still okay you know you have the room for free and uh yeah you need food so you cannot skip it anyways this was the first video from this amazing adventure here in the himalayas i guess we are now like a thousand meter above sea level and the highest point we're gonna reach is like 3200 so we are on one third at the moment i think tomorrow is gonna be a crazy hike again so i'm gonna chill down have something to eat have a good sleep on this lovely bed and i'll see you in the next video here from nepal bye bye